Senator Steve Huffman represents District 5, which includes Tip City. Now, some of the people I spoke with here say they are shocked and appalled by his statements. However, one of his uh, colleagues, who is also a senator, says he doesn't believe the remark should be the focus of the conversation. Could it just be that uh, African Americans or the colored population do not wash their hands as well as other groups? That comment setting off a firestorm of strong reactions. That's appalling. But it's definitely not a positive, helpful statement. To be perfectly honest, I was a little mortified by it because that is not an acceptable term at all. The term color is not acceptable. Senator Huffman is vice chair of the Health, Human Services, and Medicaid Committee. Chair of that committee, Senator Dave Burke, had some strong statements about the backlash. Ohio needs to move forward. And I am not going to let one question define what happened in that room for 11 hours. Tuesday's hearing was to determine whether racism should be declared a public health crisis in Ohio. Burke says there's a lot of learning that needs to be done. The wording could have been better, but everybody has a different starting point on this issue. And if the way you phrase something is going to intimidate your ability to even engage it, then we will never move forward. Meanwhile, some of Huffman's constituents are reaching out to make a change. Um, some of us have honestly started a group that we're sending him an email to bring peace within the community. So I'm hopeful that that will help. We just received a statement from Senator Huffman. He says, quote, regrettably, I asked a question in an unintentionally awkward way that was perceived as hurtful and was exactly the opposite of what I meant. I was trying to focus on why COVID-19 affects people of color at a higher rate since we really do not know all the reasons. Now, it is true. We do have facts that show that the African-American community has been hit at a higher rate, but coming up on five on two, we spoke with doctors and health professionals who explain why that is in Tip City. Leah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.